Hi right, guys, today I'm going to show you a quick demo for uh, database mirroring on SQL Server 2014. I uh, just want to mention some points regarding database mirroring. Uh, there are two types of uh, database mirroring. Uh, one is high performance or synchronous and the other one is high safety or synchronous mirroring. Uh, if we want to use automatic failover, uh, then we must use our web test server. There are some prerequisites for database mirroring and uh, which are we must use a full recovery model for the database that we want to mirror and the other uh, <coughs> prerequisite is that principal and mirror databases must exist in their own separate instances uh, you cannot have a mirror database in the same instance as principal um, where the principal database exists <coughs> All the instances can be on the same machine or all the instances can be in the same domain on different machines all the instances can be standalone machines and not part of any domain um, in this case you must use certificates and the mirroring can be set up across WAN and uh, in uh, different domains and or in different um, subnets uh, you can use a dedicated NIC uh, to config Figure database mirroring for better performance. So, as I said, for the purpose of this demo, I will use a performance, high performance or asynchronous mirroring. So, let's begin that. <coughs> First of all, I want to create a database uh, that I want to mirror. Uh, if there is no database, I cannot do mirroring. So, let's do that. Uh, I just uh, created a database, uh, you know, created a table in it you know add its bunch of records in there <coughs> and as you can see it has a uh, you know total 15 records uh, so to do database mirroring uh, we have to take a full backup and a transaction log, log backup of um, uh, the database that we want to mirror once the backup is complete uh, we'll have to go on to the other instance <coughs> and uh, we will have to restore that uh, backup over there. Uh, so let's go on the other instance and uh, restore uh, the database uh, on the second instance. After we restore the full backup, uh, when we restore a backup, the important thing is it uh, you must use no recovery um, so that uh, you know uh, you can apply the transaction log. And once after that, you restore a transaction log, and uh, you will leave the you will have to leave the database in a no recovery or in a restoring state. <coughs> so once that is done, then you can come back to your uh, principal uh, database or the source database. Right click on the database, select properties, and uh, choose a mirroring option uh, within the database properties section. Uh, to set up mirroring, we'll have to uh, click on configure security button. It will launch the configure database mirroring security visit. Uh, click next. Uh, since I'm going to use high performance or asynchronous mirroring, uh, I will not use a witness server. So I will select the no option uh, on the first screen and uh, click next. Uh, next, I'm going to use the default port. Uh, and click next and then I will select my secondary or in second instance or the instance where my mirrored database will reside or is residing uh, I will uh, connect to that instance and uh, there is seems to be something wrong here I'm not sure what okay so I will have to yeah my you know mistake I have to select the second instance and once you select the correct instance you will see uh, you know um, uh, the next button is not you know great anymore uh, I will click next <coughs> I will leave these blanks um, because I'm uh, doing mirroring on the same machine if it is uh, if uh, 
uh, the mirroring is to be done on separate machines then we'll have to specify the service account uh, under which the SQL engine is running uh, for both principal and the mirror in instances uh, I'll click next and do a finish uh, the visit uh, is complete the endpoints are configured <coughs> At this point, I will not start the mirroring as I have to uh, select the high performance or asynchronous mirroring. <coughs> After that, I will uh, uh, will start the mirroring and uh, click yes. And let's wait. And uh, uh, as you can see in the object explorer, uh, you know there is a status. Uh, now displayed here with the uh, with the database um, that says that this database is now a principal and it is synchronized. <coughs> Let's go on to the second instance and check here. Um, the database that we restored is now in um, you know now is a mirror database and it's in synchronized state slash restoring state. <coughs> So at this point, anything that we do on the principal database, all the changes will be mirrored to the mirror database. <coughs> so for the purpose of demo, I'll just uh, add uh, some additional records in there. And uh, sorry, I will have to select the database and then execute this. <coughs> As you can see, you know, we have now about, uh, you know, 113 records in there. Um, now let's go back uh, to the our mirror database. <coughs> and uh, let's break the mirror to see the results. If the, all the records that we inserted in the principal database uh, have been copied uh, or mirrored to the mirror database. <coughs> to break the mirror, we'll use the alter database test mirror set partner of command. Uh, once we execute this command uh, and if you refresh the databases in the object explorer you will notice that uh, the test uh, mirror database is now in restoring state <coughs> also on the principal database if you refresh it you will see there is no status or uh, that uh, it is not showing that uh, this is you know principal database that means the builder has been broken and the database is now just a regular database. Uh, so let's go back to the uh, you know mirror database. Uh, let's restore the database and uh, query uh, uh, run the query to pull out the results from the database. <coughs> As you can see, it is also showing uh, you know 113 records and as it was showing in our uh, principal database so this concludes uh, the database mirroring demo thank you very much for watching and uh, have a nice day